All right, so we got Tachia. Hopefully I said that right. Official gameplay trailer. Let's get to the video. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Crifo, game director on Chia. Let me show you some of the really cool locomotion abilities and traversal options. Dang, I got her parachuting in there like Fortnite. Chia fun and rewarding. <laughs> this is a game about exploration, so it was super important for us that moving around was intuitive, responsive, but also deep enough to stay engaging throughout the whole game. Okay. In Chia, you are not bound to design routes and areas. You can climb any surface organically, even at weird angles, and carve your own path through the islands. Oh, she can climb you can anything. Use the terrain's verticality to your advantage by sliding down slopes, and use your glider to cover long distances and break your falls. Well, sometimes. Ooh, ooh. Taking hits and performing intense activities will drain your stamina, but you can upgrade it by finding magical fruits around the archipelago. All foliage in the game is physics based. Swaying on trees and cutting I don't want to turn it down too low. Is an efficient way I'm going to raise back up. Distances. In Chia, this thing got better movement than, than Warzone. So why not add a bit of style to it? You can do spins and flips and even dives if you're precise enough. Okay. We wanted to emulate the excitement of getting lost into a rich, unknown world. This is why we designed our map system without a player marker. We think this encourages observation and exploration and makes finding your way around the archipelago much more rewarding. Chia can help uh. you by guessing her general location and using orientation signs will narrow down your position, forcing you to explore and interact with the world around you. To cover greater okay. distances across the archipelago, you can use your trusty boat. It is easy to sail but still requires you to be active as you need to manage both your sail and steering paddle. And while exploring, you will also find docks that unlock fast travel destinations to let you get around the world faster. Let's dive into one of the game's most unique mechanics, Chia's soul jumping ability that allows you to take control of any object or animal in the game world. Early in the game, Chia discovers that she has unique soul jumping powers. That was Her nice. Her left eye starts glowing and she is able to warp into nearby objects and animals. Some objects have different characteristics. For example, explosives can be super useful during combat. Especially when used alongside soul throwing, a mechanic that lets you aim and shoot an object towards the target while regaining control of Chia on the spot. It's up to you to be creative and discover fun ways to use objects. Soul jumping That's actually a nice little concept right there, bro. Most of them have unique abilities that can help you with traversal, exploration, or are just great fun. Oh! Okay. Using your soul jumping abilities will deplete Chia's soul meter, and more intense activities will drain it faster. You can upgrade it permanently by consuming super rare fruits that will add a slot to your soul meter. She ate that thing like doing a gusher. So, as well as progressing through the story will unlock the full potential of Chia's soul jumping powers. Epic made that? No wonder Epic made this. Bro, it has it literally Epic wait, Epic really made this? Bro, it literally has the same, well, not the same, but like, bro, it literally has like the same mechanisms as Fortnite. Look at this. You got the, like the, the, the parachute thing like Fortnite has. You got the, um, where's it, where is it? She has, she has the sliding feature like, like Fortnite and Warzone have, like the, like the sliding feature that Fortnite has. Like this. Oh, well, that's not it. Like, bro. I mean, I, okay. I didn't know because, I, like, <laughs> I said the parachute thing like Fortnite. I didn't know that like that Epic actually made this. I'm gonna keep it real. I didn't. I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. The movement in this game is actually pretty decent. I'm gonna keep it real. The movement is pretty decent. I, I can. I cannot. I cannot joke about that. The movement is pretty decent. Other than that, the whole soul jumping thing came out of nowhere. I thought that after. He introduced her and like her uh, her name came up. I thought the trailer was over. I didn't know that th this little soul jumping thing. I like the animation. How like it literally looks like it, it looks like Goku punching you. It, like it like him just warping through the air, just punching you. Let me go back to it. This little soul jumping thing is actually pretty cool. That's tight. That that is absolutely tight, bro. That's cool.
that's cool. This Tuchia game is it's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's it's cool. It's nothing too. It's nothing too. Uh, it's not like it's it's not too much as I should say. It's very simple. This looks like a. I thought this was a, a Nintendo Switch game at first. I'm gonna be real, but uh, it's gonna be a, a PlayStation game. Not bad. Not bad, man. Comment down below what you guys think about this. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and.